Hi, great and um, beautiful people of God. Welcome to my channel. This is the person that winner TV, a great channel full of God's words, prayers, prophecy, word of knowledge. Yeah, we have all of the Bible and audio playlist. So subscribe, touch the bell, stay with us. You're welcome. God bless you. We'll look at God's word today. God's word is everything we need. God's word guides us, it leads us, gives us wisdom, it heals us. God's word is light, light to us. Amen. Colossians 3 23 to 24. I love this scripture. The first day I saw it, I was like, wow, I never knew it was in the Bible. That was years ago. So Colossians 3, 23 to 24. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ who you are serving. He said, whatever you do. This is, this is some things you do. He said, whatever you do. He said, work at it with all your heart. Is it your job? Is it your marriage? Is it your academics? Anything you are doing, whatever it is, do it with all your heart. Hallelujah. Whatever you are doing, maybe mostly in terms of having to help, or having to serve, do with all your heart. As working for the Lord, praise God. Do it as though you are working for the Lord. Are you working in church? Are you um, in a department in church? Do it as you are working for the Lord. Don't say, Sister A did not come. Me and Tua, next week, me and Tua, I'm not going to come. Even your job, do it as you are doing unto the Lord. Don't say, oh, that person took vacation for two weeks. Okay, when they come back, it's my own turn now. I will take for three weeks. Do it all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Don't do it like you're working for a human being. Then you see some mistakes are about to crash. You say, No, I saw it all. I don't want to see it all. I don't want I don't my business. Then at the end of the day, things will crash. No, don't do that. See, after it's not my business. No, he said. Not for human masters. Don't work like, work like, work like you're working for human masters. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. If you work well unto the Lord with all your heart, you will receive an inheritance, a reward from the Lord. Even your work you're doing in the office, God will reward you. Know your salary they are giving you. God can promote you. But Bible says promotion comes from who? From God. It is the Lord Christ who you are serving. You are serving Jesus Christ. When you do the right thing, for example, you are working in an office, as a government office or a private office, you see things are going, going to go wrong. You, you, you try to solve it. You, you bring ideas. You, you report it. And everything at the end of the day go well. You have just done, uh, showed a Christian character as you are serving the Lord. He said, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. You show a sincere character by not allowing the thing to go get worse and somebody else's business crashes. You say, it's not my business. If you do it as your own business, as you're talking unto the law as a Christian, because you're you a Christian, you say, oh, this thing is going to go bad this way. We have to solve it so at the end of the day, it don't go worse. Because you love um, the company and because you love God, you don't allow things to get bad and get worse and they, they lose profit. You are serving the Lord Christ because you're showing your a Christian character. You are serving the Lord Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. I pray for you today in Jesus' name. That this word will be understood by you. I pray that everywhere, everywhere you go, that you walk like you are walking unto the Lord and not unto men in Jesus' name. You will not be a man pleaser in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be the one that will please God so you can get the reward of the Lord in Jesus' name. Promotion is yours. You will not go backward, you go forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Increase is yours. The blessing of the Lord in your life. You make it rich. You have no sorrow to it.
In Jesus' name, you are forever blessed. You are lifted. You are promoted. Good earth is yours. God's guidance is yours. Your leg will not take you to a wrong place at the wrong time. In Jesus' name, your leg will not take you to the place of destruction, but you'll be led all the time to the place of safety. God will watch over you. The eyes of the Lord watch over you to and fro, and God will, God will prove Himself strong on your behalf. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you richly. Share the video. Let many people learn from the video. And please subscribe to my channel. If you're not born again, what are you waiting for? Say after me, pray. After Salvation. Say, Lord Jesus, today I come to you. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I believe you died for me. You were buried on a third day. You rose again from the dead. Lord Jesus, I'm now yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. If that prayer of salvation was said by you, you are now born again. Start with the Bible teaching church. Stay with us here. Subscribe to the bell. I'll see you next time. Bye.